Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this simple oversized sweater. I'll be making the Doveport cardigan in a size small with a cropped length, but this pattern is easy to alter to any body length you want and there are two different types of neckline finishes. A simple slip stitch edging and a thicker knit look back loop ribbing. You can find the free ridden pattern from sizes extra small to 5 extra large on my blog. The link is down below in the description bar. You will need Aran Worsted or Medium 4 yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Heartland in the shade Petrified Forest. A 6.5mm crochet hook. Some scissors, a darning needle, and one stitch marker or safety pin. We'll begin with the body hemline ribbing, and the body panel is worked entirely in one piece. To begin, create a slip knot, insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 9. For row 1, we're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 3. Half double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. At the end of row 1, you'll have 8 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1. Throughout this pattern, chain 1 doesn't count as a stitch. We're now going to work into the back loops of the stitches. So when you turn the tops of the stitches to face you, you only want to pick up the strand of yarn that is furthest away from you. This is the back loop. To back loop slip stitch, Insert your hook into the back loop. Yarn over and pull through. Back loop slip stitch in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. Place a normal slip stitch in the last stitch of the row. Make sure you pick up both the front and the back loops. You'll have 8 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 3, chain 1. This is a half double crochet row, so make sure your chain 1 is tall enough to match the height of your half double crochet. Back loop half double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. Place a normal half double crochet in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 8 stitches in total. Turn your work. The ribbing is worked lengthways, so the stitches equal the height of the ribbing. We're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 until the end of row 111. We're at the end of row 111. We're going to rotate our work and work along the raw edge of the ribbing. To start row 1 of the main body panel, chain 1. Half double crochet in the first row. Half double crochet in the next slip stitch row. Place one half double crochet in each half double crochet row and each slip stitch row until the end of the ribbing. At the end of row 1 of the main body panel, you should have 111 stitches. The ribbing and stitches should lay flat. Turn your work. To start row 2, we're going to chain 1, and then half double crochet in each stitch across. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the end of row 14. At this point, you can add or remove rows to change the length of your cardigan. 
You can check out the blog post for more information about all the alteration instructions. We're going to separate the main body panel into two front panels and a back panel to create openings for the sleeves. To start the first front panel, we're going to chain one and then half double crochet in the first 25 stitches of the row. I have 25 stitches in total. I'm going to skip one stitch and then place my stitch marker in the next stitch. This is where I'll start the back panel. Turn your work. To begin row two, chain one, half double crochet in each stitch across. You'll have 25 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the end of row 20. We're at the end of row 20 and I have 20 first front panel rows. I have 34 half double crochet rows in total. Fast enough. To start the back panel, insert your hook into the stitch with the stitch marker. Secure your yarn and pull up a loop. Start row 1 of the back panel, chain 1. We're going to half double crochet across in the next 59 stitches. Remember your chain doesn't count as a stitch, so work your first stitch into the stitch with the stitch marker. At the end of row 1 of the back panel, you should have 59 stitches in total. Remove your stitch marker, skip one stitch, and then place your stitch marker into the next stitch. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1, and then half double crochet across. You'll have 59 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the end of row 20. At the end of row 20, fasten up. To start the second front panel, insert your hook into a stitch with the stitch marker. Secure your yarn and pull up a loop. To start row 1, chain 1, and then half double crochet across. You'll have 25 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat row 1 until the end of row 20. At the end of row 20, fasten up. and you've completed your main body panel. Now let's crochet the sleeves. To crochet the sleeves, we're going to use the exact same ribbing we used for the hemline. So it's eight stitches across, and we're going to crochet until the end of row 23. Once you have 23 rows, we're going to work the sleeve along the long edge of the ribbing. To start row one, chain one. Place one half double crochet in the first row. Place one half double crochet in a slip stitch row. Then place two half double crochets in a half double crochet row. Repeat the pattern of one half double crochet in a slip stitch row, and then two half double crochets in a half double crochet row until you reach the last row of the sleeve ribbing. In the very last half double crochet row, place only one half double crochet. You'll have 33 stitches in total. Turn your work. 
To begin row two, chain one. Repeat the pattern of two half double crochets in the same stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next two stitches until the end of the row. At the end of row 2, you'll have 44 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 3, chain 1. Place one half double crochet in each stitch across. You'll have 44 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat row 3 until your sleeve measures 39cm or 15.5 inches. I crocheted until the end of row 34. Fasten off. Fold your sleeve in half lengthways and then whip stitch the edges of the sleeve together. Repeat these steps for a second sleeve. We're now going to assemble the cardigan. Fold the front panels on top of the back panel and whip stitch the shoulder seams together. Line up the tops of the sleeves with the shoulder seams. Whip stitch your sleeves to the body. If there's a gap on the body panels underneath the sleeves, sew the gap closed. We're now going to finish off the neckline. Option 1 is to add a simple slip stitch edging. Make sure the right side of the cardigan is facing you. Insert your crochet hook into the corner of the front panel. Secure your yarn and pull up a loop. Chain 1 and we're going to slip stitch evenly across the edge of the neckline. The exact number of stitches doesn't matter. Focus on spacing out your stitches evenly. If your neckline is ruffling, you have too many stitches. And if your neckline is puckering, you have too few stitches. Work your way all around the edge of the neckline. When you reach the corner of the second front panel, fasten off. Weave in all of your ends. For the second option, you can crochet thicker neckline ribbing. Simply follow the exact same ribbing instructions we use for the hemline and the cuff of the sleeves. Crochet your ribbing until it measures the same length as the neckline opening. Fasten off and then whip stitch your ribbing into place. If you'd like to crochet the ribbing directly onto the garment, check out the blog post as it has all the instructions as well as a photo tutorial. Weave in all of your ends, and you've finished your dove port cardigan.